Okay, new tests. The cone. The cone shaped coil. And that's because in the other video I tried with this magnet and the field was the most strong here and there was almost nothing up here and that means that all the particles in the iron are getting eaten by the copper and there's nothing left in the end and so that means that uh, all the copper that is on this side is wasted I mean it's just resistant uh, if it doesn't do anything then why use this expensive copper and I think this this form is, is much better but that's the theory now these are much lighter coils I had these big coils 8 880 grams and I uh, took some wire off that they're now 600 grams and so I had 180 grams left for these coils for my test and I made these cone coils now let's see what it does I put a lamp on it no. by the way I I left my M meter on and that's empty now so I have another one uh, now it's 180 milliamps and 90 milliamps so it's speeding up now but as you can see the lamp is on and this with only 100, 285 grams and there was something that I couldn't do before I mean the lamp is as bright as with the big coils from 800 so we can make the conclusion that this, this works I have to tune it more so it will be brighter it's just Turning this knob now. So the setup still the Bedini motor, it's one coil. This coil has uh, I think gauge 20 wire, four strings, uh, about uh, 40 meters, so 130 feet. And I made it so that I can configure it. So now there are two sets of two in series. This is, I think, uh, maybe 4 ohms or something. So that's for the Bedini. I have this big transistor, the, the, the good one, the 194 MEA. So that's for the, for, the, for the motor. And it's still charging the battery. But let me see. It should be able to run somewhere around 180. 80 milliamps now it's going down now so yeah I think this is about it so this lamp is on and it's as good as 800 grams or 880 grams of copper and now I use only 280 so that's a big improvement and by the way just for the test I will shift these up these coils you can see now and the lamp is actually not not doing so very much but I have the feeling that when I put them down it's just a little more it's just a little bit more oh, okay well that's it now we're gonna test the 600 grams see what they do okay back again the old 880 grams are now they lost a little weight I did some exercise and now they are 600 grams let's see still speeding up but as you can see it's barely on barely on I mean this is 600 grams and the other one is only 280 what I forgot to do was test and here it's the same effect 
here I've got it's vibrating and here up only very little so it's plenty of copper by the way it's speeding up now I oh, hear it's speeding up now okay now the lamp is coming on more uh oh <laughs> still didn't do anything about the distance it's all very crappy <laughs> It's going really fast now. So it's, it's, that's something I must say. This one is speeding up much more than the other one. That's probably because there's more copper on it. Okay, so now we can tune it a little more. It's still speeding up. <laughs> it's going like crazy. But, okay, I must agree, it's about the same, same brightness with the other one but uh, I must agree that it's it's going much faster it's really much faster so I have my dabs now <laughs> but this is three times the amount of copper uh -oh. tune a little more still speeding up and it's stable now let's speed up a little more <laughs> okay I have to hold this because this one is so heavy that it's pushing the wooden bar down and it's hitting the magnets when I feel it really shit so now the lamp is not really very bright it's about the same as with the other one the only thing is that the wheel is running faster I must agree that and maybe when I put these ones up Just lift them. I have a feeling that the wheel is speeding up even more now, but the lamp is less bright. So, yeah, I put them down again, and now it, the, the speed is decreasing a little. So, there are a few new conclusions here. By the way, uh, let's stop it. What I did, I did this with the cone as well, and with the cone, the magnetic field was equal everywhere. Uh, I can't show it anymore now. I have to change the course. I will show it maybe in the future, but you have to believe me. Okay. Well, that's for that. Just a short test. Thank you.